What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be turning a red jersey to blue. Simple, yeah? Yeah, so basically we're going to be taking a Man United jersey or, you know, Ronaldo in a Man United jersey and turn him into a blue jersey, you know, as I did for my kit swap design uh, of Ronaldo to Chelsea. So I thought this would be a quite a nice one for you to do because it's very uh, interesting techniques and, you know, I didn't know how to uh, ch change a red jersey to blue. So something I thought that you guys could learn at the same time, you know, get some experience out of it and, you know, help you out with uh, kit swaps. So basically, guys, this is uh, what we're going to be doing today. Thank you so much for the recent support on the videos and and, you know the patreon and the discord i really do appreciate all of it thank you so much uh, but without further ado let's get straight into the video so guys this is what we're going to be doing today we're going to be taking this well this um this and turning it into a, a blue top i don't really care about the shorts i'm just going to show you the top because it's the same uh you know technique for both so i'm going to put these into a group and then i'm just going to run through the process with you so let's put that below there let's just go old and now we've got our kit so first things first you're going to want to select your pen tool so the pen tool is going to be where we uh select the uh, actual selection of ronaldo uh, so you don't really need to worry about this too much. Go around the outside for most of it. Obviously, the intricate bits you're going to need to uh, zoom in and go around it for. Uh, but to begin with, we're just going to do this. We're just going to, you know, simply click around, go around like we would anything else if we were cutting him out or something like that, and then make a nice little selection. So the reason I'm doing it so loosely around the edges is because we're going to clip him out get two Ronaldo, so we don't need to worry too much about that. The only bits we need to worry about are the skin tone bits. So his finger you know stuff like this we're going to make this really nice and smooth this is why i'm using the pen tool not like the quick selection tool so the fingers you know the white bits like the end of his sleeve stuff like that we're going to make sure that we don't turn those blue because that will just look a lot you know it just it won't look very good so uh take your time with this you know whatever image you're using to do it kit swap in you know anything like that make sure you just take your time uh because it will benefit you um i'll put the ronaldo design i made up on the screen right now so obviously if you haven't seen that it'll be on the instagram check that out um, but yeah, basically that took me about, I would say about seven hours to do. Um, so yeah, if you, you know, if you uh, are planning on doing something like this, take time. Uh, that one did really well. That got over like a thousand likes and everything. And a lot of people liked it. Got a lot of uh, views on the reel as well. So it's worth doing, but if you are going to do it, make sure you do it right. So what I'm doing here is I am just cutting out all of the hand very, uh, specifically and making sure that I don't, you know, miss any bits because the hand is going to be the most important part because obviously if that looked blue it, it wouldn't make a lot of sense would it um it would just look a little bit odd so right right here go around the whole kit you know go around all the red bits make sure you get all the red bits in don't really worry too much about the white you don't really want the white in there because again you don't want to turn the white blue um but just make sure you get all the red bits in let's go like that okay like that up here and now we can just quickly go around the collar here because i'm not going to worry about the collar for this we're just going to go up like this and change the kit. So, selection done. Now, let's go up here where it says selection. Click selection. Click OK. And there we go. And now we're just going to make a uh, black and white layer. So, now our black and white layer is covering the kit. So, now we can clip and mask that to him. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get a hard brush. And we're going to go and fill in these bits in his fingers. Now, you'll have this with every jersey because obviously different poses and everything like this. Now, this is your chance to go in and just get rid of... Uh, the black uh well not the black sorry the uh the red bits that are on your image so just like this i'm just gonna go around quickly do that okay same here i'm just gonna go in here quickly get rid of that red make sure you make it accurate otherwise it's gonna turn because obviously we are gonna we're gonna be copying this mask so make sure you do make it accurate don't rush this bit because when we do copy it across it's gonna be well it's gonna be blue so make sure you get rid of all these red bits quickly like that there we go, just go in between the fingers here. Go. Nice. It's always hard changing something that's red to blue. It, or to be honest, any like bright colours changing them because you're always gonna get a little bit where it doesn't look right. So don't worry too much if this is your first time doing it, because I messed it up a lot. That's why the design took me a lot like a long time. Um but you know, take your time with it, it will pay off in the long run. Let's, uh, let's go up here. Let's get rid of all those red pixels. Check we ain't got oh we got loads here. We'll make sure we get rid of those for sure. Go around here. Nice. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. We've got rid of most of the red. So we've got that done now. Now we can make it a little bit darker or lighter depending on what we want. But I'm just going to just make it a little bit darker. Okay. That's good. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and get a solid color layer. So the blue that I've got is a uh, 1B, 3C, 8B. Now this is a, just a you know a dark blue, something close to the actual colors of Chelsea's kit this year. Uh, and then I clip mask this to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag this layer mask. So hold it, drag it and drop it on this layer. So there you go. It's clipping mask. It's the exact same mask. You know, it's on the kit, everything like that. That's what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the blending options and set this to multiply. Okay, got to multiply, very dark, you know, it's all right. Now we can sort of test this black and see how dark we want it. So I'm just gonna move the reds up a little bit, but we've already got the blue in, which is really good. And I can just see one mistake that I have made, which is gonna be over here. So down here, let's just go and paint that away, like so, nice. Okay, so we've got the blue in, everything's good. You know, it's all working well. But the problem is the blue is too dark. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna apply a curves layer. So curves layer is going to be able to brighten areas up going to allow you to actually improve the the contrast of the design while keeping all the shadows intact so again we're going to hold alt we're going to drag and drop this onto that layer and now we're just you know highlighting or darkening the uh, the blue so just gonna go up here drag it up a little bit make it a little bit of a sort of a slight s curve just to make sure that you've got a good contrast going on here and then as you can see we've got the nice blue jersey so that really didn't take much did it guys so you know three things here black and white is essential if you are using a, a colored jersey if it's a white jersey don't worry about it or a black jersey don't worry about that. that's a completely different technique i might do a video on that in the future you need a black and white for the colored jersey just to make sure you get rid of that red or blue or whatever it is you're working with and then you get your solid color set it to multiply whatever color it is put it on there and then the curves layer is where you obviously take it from being a dark color to a nice color for what the kit is and then you can obviously apply all the little bits of like chelsea logo and all that type of different things but you know it it's making sure that you get all these little techniques right first time just to save you time so this is basically how i changed the jersey color so i've got you know i i did this for loads of different images and obviously the shorts again i did the same process black and white and then a curves now you want maybe want a different um you know a different uh curves layer for this one just because the curves uh affect different you know colors differently so the white it might be a little bit too light so you might want to darken it a little bit just to make it more intact with the short uh the, the shirt um but you know these are all things you can play around with you can also add a uh, levels layer so if you add a levels clip and mask that to him obviously drag and drop that one again so you've got the same layer mask and then you can sort of bring out the darks a little bit more bring out the highlight just to make sure you've got all those shadows popping through as well because that's going to be a really key thing just to make sure that the kit swap looks real and that the actual kit is on him so uh yeah guys so something really simple here i know it's not a long video but i just wanted to show you this quick process that you know i think is really important because i didn't know how to do it so i expect some you guys won't know how to do it so uh making a nice little tutorial for you guys hopefully you have enjoyed if you have obviously smash that like button and let me know in the comments what you want to see more of like if you want to see more tutorials like this let me know if you want to see design breakdowns you know let me know more instagram redesigns you know I, I know you guys really enjoyed that so you know i'm open to any suggestions guys obviously let me know and make sure you join the discord link down below so uh yeah without further ado guys i'm gonna stop waffling now enjoy your day and i'll see you next time